commonly, right before big dreams are about to be activated and fully manifested, there's chaos. I'm celebrating a really big step. The booking of our flights. This dream is landing so strongly when you book flights, right? Or when you take that step where there's no going back. Every dream has that step where you cross a threshold and there's just no going back. We're stepping forward, we're making it happen. We booked our flights to the Yucatan. And you know what happens after one of those big crossing threshold steps so often is that all the, all the stuff in your life that is not in alignment with that big step gets kicked up gets kicked up and it feels like a flurry of chaos <laughs> and that is what happened with us yesterday some of it was related with family members some of it was related with um, requests that weren't a match for this this vibration of us stepping into our dream and it was calling me to claim it to like really claim this dream as something that's happening it's for real and I'm doing it claimed it. I felt the fire in my belly. This is my dream, traveling with the kids to the Yucatan. That is my dream and I am so on fire for it and we're doing it. And I don't have any time or energy right now to offer towards what you're holding. I see it, I honor it, but this is where I'm going. And I claimed it out loud in my words. And I didn't worry about the response that they might be feeling within them because no doubt I was inviting them to look at what was getting kicked up for them of what wasn't in alignment in their life about their dream, right? Like this is how it works together. Whenever we say yes to something, it's very powerful because it means we're also saying no to a whole lot of other things. We're saying no to being in Oregon for the winter, no to being here for the holidays, no, no, no to whatever possibilities were also in the airwaves for us for this time. We are really honing in on the yes and letting go of all the no. Today, as we woke up, my son and I, and looked at the calendar and looked at our 25 days left here in Oregon, and we just, we claimed we are gonna live this autumn to its fullest. Knowing that this is gonna, this time is gonna come to an end and then we're leaving gives us full permission to be even more present in this season right now. We went um, on this drive to the beautiful, beautiful White Salmon River. My son is off on a hike by himself to one of his favorite spots. Um, we're enjoying all of the local autumn goodies, the pumpkin patches, the apple butters, the apples and the pears and like we're diving into all of that to really juice ourselves up in this space where we're at right now for the time that we're here. And that's another thing about saying yes and stepping on the path and crossing a threshold, right? Is you get really present with where you're at, knowing that there's going to be a shift coming soon. So it's good. It's really good. And I'm so grateful to be sharing this journey with you. I would love to know what your big dream is. What's the vision you're holding for you, for your family? What step are you taking now? How are you saying yes to something? And what are the no's that are popping up? What kind of debris might be coming up for you? How are you moving through that, navigating that? Let me know, reach out. I would love to hear it. You've got this.